Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Bees Waggle Mason Bee Observation House. You'll receive the bee house and a packet of wildflower seeds. The seeds are provided by Bounty Beyond Belief Seed Company and contains a mix of over 15 types of wildflowers to create a long season foraging site for bees and other pollinators. Here you can see that it's packed for the current year and you can sow these in spring or late fall for best results. Some of the flowers included are forget-me-nots, purple coneflower, spiderwort, rocky mountain bee plant, sweet alyssum, aspen daisy, and lavender hyssop. It's mid-July right now and not really the right time to plant, so I'll be sowing a handful of these into a pot and see what comes up. The bee house itself is constructed of pine. Along the left-hand side are eight holes drilled into the wood which the bees will make their nesting sites. The bee house measures 11 inches tall, 8 inches wide, and 2 and a quarter inches deep. The front features a door that opens to review an acrylic window, so you can check on the progress of the bee's nest. At the top of the house is the Bees Waggle logo engraved in the wood. You'll notice that the four holes on top are slightly larger than the four holes on the bottom. This is because the Blue Orchard Mason Bees prefer the larger holes and the Leaf Cutter Bees prefer the smaller ones for nesting. The holes are smooth without any splinters or burrs, which could damage the bee's wings. They are drilled to a depth of 5 and 3 quarter inches to ensure that the bees lay a mix of male and female eggs. I did notice a small crack in the corner of my acrylic window that was probably damaged from the screw in the corner being over tightened, but it doesn't look like this will impact the overall durability of the bee house. On the back are two hanging holes spaced one and a half inches apart on center that can accommodate screw heads with up to a 3 8 inch diameter. Having the two screws will help stabilize the house so that it won't move around. The only other minor cosmetic flaw is that the back panel is warped so that it's not flush with the roof, but this won't affect its performance. The hardware in the house, including the hinges and the hook latch to lock the door, are made of brass for weather resistance. But the screws on the bottom and the screws holding in the acrylic plate appear to be plain steel or stainless, and they may end up rusting over time. However, the acrylic window is designed to be removable, so you can harvest your bee cocoons, clean out, and sanitize the tunnels. To rid the tunnels of pollen mites, lightly sand them or sanitize with a 6% bleach solution after the cocoons are harvested or hatched. If the screws are worn or rusted, simply replace them. Cleaning is essential, as accumulated pollen mites may result in increased mortality of future bee generations that nest there. With proper care, your bee house can be used year after year. The house comes with an emailed quick start guide that describes the best location for your bee house. Select a spot about 5 feet high and mount the house so that the holes are facing south to get the morning sun. Make sure to have plenty of flowers nearby for foraging and a water source like a bird bath or pond. There should also be a source of mud so the bees can make their cocoons. The best time to set out the bee house is in early spring, so it's a bit late in the season for me, but I'm putting this out now on July 20th, 2016, and I'll check back every few weeks to see if anyone's made a nest in it. So stay tuned! I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.